कोई बताए मुझे जाने कैसा दौर है आदम हो ना हवा क्या मेरा खुदा कोई और है दामने जीस्त यूं नम नहीं दे खा जाता हो जिस आलम में वो आलम नहीं दे खा जाता I always knew that there was something different about me. It was almost like I had been holding my breath my entire life. So I went through this whole spiral of um, self-identity, like an ad- identity crisis. At one point, I was so destroyed by what had happened and so confused about who I really was. One day I was like, I don't know who I am anymore. I didn't know what to do and I was so depressed that I remember really really contemplating taking my own life main aaj se raha hu signal pe maanti hu subah 10:30 baje aati hu aur next time main khana khati hu sham ki azan hoti fir hum ghar chale jate hain baaji sam kab pata chala tha ki कुछ अलग है मैं शुरू से ऐसी थी बाजी घर में काम करती थी बर्तन धोती थी खाने पकाती थी 10-11 साल की थी तो मैं पढ़ने जाती थी मुझे वहाँ पे भी बच्चे छेड़ते थे स्कूल में बोलते हैं ये खाजा सगा है ये ही जनाना रूह है ये है वो है तो फिर मेरे अम्मी अबू मुझे नहीं जाने देते फिर मैं कुरान शरीफ पढ़ने जाती थी मैं कुरान शरीफ भी पढ़ी हूँ So I went through this whole identity thing of who actually am I and it took a while. And then um this really awesome really awesome friend came into my life. His name is Anders. One of the coolest guys that you'll ever meet. And we ended up becoming roommates and um I started talking to him about how I was feeling. And he's the one that actually turned to me and was like, "You know what, Huck? I think you might be trans." And that's when it really first clued into me. Like, I didn't even know that that was anything that I was thinking. But he was like, "Everything that you're telling me right now screams that you are transgender and you are not happy in your body as a woman." And I realized that, "Hey, I think he's right." That's kind of how my journey of becoming actually who I am started. I wasn't ready to officially come out as trans at that point. I was married for 4 years and it wasn't a good relationship. In a lot of ways it was abusive, but I came out officially to to my now ex-wife who uh turned around and said you should have told me this before we got married ab yammi bhi nahi hai abu bhi nahi hai kuch bhi nahi hai bhai to maa ban ke bhai behno ke sath jaate hain to acha lagta hai do mahine baad chali jati hu kya rakhti kyun nahi rakhti bahut kya rakhti hai wo zyada rakhti hai badi hai na main choti hu maa baap maa baap hota hai bhai kuch bhi ho jaye maa baap maa baap hota hai i wasn't ready to tell anybody I wasn't allowed to grow a beard. I had to be clean shaven all the time. She would make bets with me and say if you lose, you're going to have to wear a dress for 24 hours. It was just re- really like emotionally abusive towards being trans. And um we eventually got divorced. I started dating somebody else maybe about a year after my divorce. We had met on online dating app, but she was looking for trans men that's who she was interested in as trans men so i finally had somebody in my life that completely 100% accepted me mere ko ghar walon ne kabhi pareshan nahi kiya kyunki main bhi ek ghar ka hissa hu baaji she wanted me to bloom to be who i was but she did give me the confidence to actually start the physical journey of being trans 
And she supported me the entire time. We were together for five years. It was almost like I had been holding my breath my entire life. And when I started to take tea and my voice started dropping and I started getting facial hair and my muscle structure changed, she supported me. That's when I let my breath out, when I started breathing. My body started becoming who I was in my brain. I ended up coming out to my parents, which was fine, they didn't care. Uh, and with taking testosterone, I started passing as male. People didn't know. They would just accept me for exactly what I looked like. Looking in the mirror matched how I felt inside. And that was the first time ever that I had felt content, content with who I was. I'm comfortable in my shoes now. I wasn't happy. And I didn't know why. Like when I was little, I had long hair all the way down to my butt, curly. Well, I wanted Ninja Turtles. I didn't want Barbies. I didn't want to wear girls underwear. I uh, never, I never played with dolls. I always wanted to be on the baseball team. And like, so it, this, it, this was a part of me since birth. I don't really miss her. I don't miss her so much. I think my um, biological mom, um, she misses, she misses Nikki. I call my biological mom, mom number one, and mom number two is Donna. <laughs> I won't go into a shop if I feel like I'm going to be um, injured or in danger or around people that don't have the same ideals is me, I will pick my shops with safety because this industry can be can be pretty dangerous. It's very male dominated. Um, so that was hard, hard in itself. Transgender in a industry that it's not widely accepted. But I managed to um, pick my shops right and talk to my owners and make sure that I'm safe in these places. Um, so I've had a pretty good string of luck on, um, on being accepted in my workplace. Every day I wake up and, you know, you, you go and you get ready and you look in the mirror and, um, sometimes it is a struggle. Some, sometimes I'm like, I know I'm trans and I know that I'm safe and I know that I'm loved, but there is that that thought in the back of your head every day that uh, I am different. I am who I am, but I'm different. There are gonna be people out there that don't accept me. Lesbians can come out once, once to their family, once to themselves, you know? I have to come out a thousand times to a thousand different people because I pass as male. So that's also a constant struggle like every day about like who, who is going to be cool about this and who isn't? And I have to make that judgment. Single pe aate hain, kabi kam karte hain, kabi kuch, kabi kuch. To fir baaji. Kal bhi ham do baje aaye, fir na itna thank you, fir ham kar chale gaye baaji. Jo log khaja sara nahi hai, wo aap se kis tarah pesh aate hain? Kisi ko aise bhi log bhi hote hain na, aise gadi ke nazdik jao na, bolte hain hato hato hato, pichha hato, hamari gadi ko haath nahi lagao. Jao dafa ho jao. Dukh to lagta hai, kyun nahi lagta? And I don't like lying to people. But to come out to them puts me at risk of our friendship. I come out to the wrong person, it could get me killed. Um, but if I do really care about somebody, I'm going to try to come out to them and be my honest self. I think that's that's probably a daily struggle that... Um, that it's the hardest one. There have been some instances where people will say or do um, really mean, nasty things just 
just because I'm trans. कोई ऐसे भी हैं कि गाड़ी को हाथ तक भी नहीं लगाने देते बोलते जाओ 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 ये ऐसे करते हैं दिल ऐसा दुखता है कि एक साइड पे बंदा बैठ के रोने लग जाता है कि या अल्लाह हमें कैसे बनाया They're afraid of different people. People that aren't the same as them. We don't have the body parts that they're used to. People are afraid of change. People are afraid of difference. I think that's a, a fear, fear based. I think they're afraid of something that's not exactly like them. It's a good question. I don't remember a whole lot of Nikki anymore. I feel like they're still one in the same person. But I don't think I'd be able to like separate them. The only thing that really changed was my voice and my muscle structure and the fur on my face, but my brain didn't. She's still in there. I feel the trans community is more connected than common people. Yeah, I would definitely agree to that. Uh in America, it's it's pretty it's pretty 50-50. Like I have M to F friends, I have F to M friends. Um and I don't think there's a majority of one or the other. F to M people I would say have it a little bit easier to transition. because the testosterone changes our muscle structure uh to be more male. Um unfortunately for male to female women, um a lot of those male features won't change. So the cheekbones, the shape of your face, they still have a lot of of male attributes that even when you transition you you they won't change unless they go get it like electrolyzed like they get it laser removed. It's the complete opposite for female male. We're growing this. In this part of the world, most of them are compelled to go into the kind of earning which is below dignity. They yeah. dance or some of them are sex workers. If Huck did not have this opportunity of work with dignity, um there is still a lot of trans people in America that also go into those fields of being in the sex sex working trade and i think that's also has a lot to do with pre- prejudice people don't want to hire transgender people because they have the fear and they feel uncomfortable and all of that roji ke liye bas makeup karna padta hai kapde acche acche se lane padte hain baaji itni thakavat hoti hai pata nahi hota kahan padi hai kahan nahi padi naach gana karna padta hai naach gana to jab karna padta hai jab koi function hai baaji aise to nahi karte fir हमारे किराए के मकान है कोई किराए वाले मकान मालिक ऐसे होते हैं कोई अच्छा नहीं समझते लेकिन ये जो हमारे मकान मालिक हैं जो बहुत अच्छे हैं आई फील फॉर्चुनेट दैट आई गॉट इन टू द इंडस्ट्री दैट आई डिड अम आई वाज काइंड ऑफ ब्रॉट इनटू इट आई वाज अ स्टूडियो आर्ट मेजर इन कॉलेज सो आई वाज गोना डू समथिंग विद आर्ट एनीवे एंड आई हैड अ फ्यू फ्रेंड्स दैट अ मोर टैटू आर्टिस्ट and i talked to him one day and i was like i don't know i don't know how i'm going to make money with an art degree like i don't know unless i'm a prodigy painter i don't know what to do what to do like is there any point in me finishing college cuz i don't know what what field to go to and uh they they were like well we're tattoo artists we love what we do here's a machine here's here's a power source uh they gave me very very little instruction and we're like We think you might really like this medium. I ended up loving it. Yeah, I feel very fortunate to be where I am in my in- industry and to be a um a professional for so long. 16 years. I really want to feel how you people feel. How is it even possible to be in your shoes? Bas yehi kehna chahte hain ki hum jaisa ko kya kasoor hai kidhar jaye hum log ke bila wajah log hame maarte. It was for a long time the lonely street of dreams for you. How would you come forward and share your light and tell them that it's possible to have an exit out of that lonely street of dreams um that nothing is impossible you're not the only one it's not you you don't need to be afraid there's plenty of people in the world going through the same thing and there is outreach there are people out there that um that will accept you no matter what it can be hard to find them 
don't base it off of fear. If you're not in a safe area, maybe your first goal is to get into a safe area so that you can be safe and do this. Um, it's all baby steps. This isn't gonna just happen overnight. Be who you are. It's not worth being miserable. It's worth it to take the risk for yourself. You'd be doing yourself an injustice if you weren't to grow into the butterfly that you are. Just by you being you brings up the possibility of you helping anybody else going through the same thing. कोई आप जैसा अच्छे शरीफ ऐसे भी आ जाते हैं जो हमारे को पांच पांच हजार भी दस दस हजार भी दे के चले जाते हैं एवरी टाइम यू स्पीक विद सच प्रोफाउंड फीलिंग यू हैव टीयर्स इन योर आईज यू हैव सच अ गुड हार्ट दैट मेक्स मी फील दैट यू आर स्टिल बैंडेजिंग योर लाइफ समहाउ या लाइक आई सेड यू कैन ट्रांजिशन बट um there are going to be those days that you struggle more than others forever this process is kind of i'm not just going to be done one day i have to take medication in order to be me you know and that me- medication i'm going to have to take up my whole life so it is is it is a struggle like every day um but like i said some days are better than others some days you're accepted more by by random people than others कोई ऐसे अल्लाह के नेक बंदे भी हैं जो हमारा हाथ भी चूमते हैं हमारे को देखते हैं अच्छा उनको लगता है इट्स अ कांस्टेंट जर्नी द रेस्ट ऑफ ट्रांस पीपल्स लाइफ्स इट डजंट जस्ट वन डे एंड इन द बिगिनिंग इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट बट द मोर द मोर एंड मोर एंड मोर एंड मोर यू आर इन योर राइट शूज डेफिनेटली द इजियर इट गेट्स इवन इफ यू नॉट ओपन अबाउट बट द फैक्ट दैट यू आर यू will eventually show somebody else that they can be them too and be accepted the more people are themselves the more people therefore can be themselves why did you agree to whisper and thrill the world now i was like i've never been asked to do anything like this and um trans people do need a voice and if that's something that i can help do then there was no question in my mind that i would i would love to to collaborate on this project i had somebody in my life when i first started testosterone that actually um did that for me his name is mateo and he's um f to m i remember going to him and asking him questions and he was open about it and he took me to one of his testosterone doctor appointments and i got to ask the doctor even questions that i didn't know so he was the, really the one that was uh the first kind of trans mentor that i had and because he did that for me i immediately just turned around and, and started doing that for other people for younger trans people for people that do have those questions that nobody will answer to have the ability to turn around and do that for the world for somebody else absolutely absolutely somebody did it for me and is paying it for to do it for other people is there a question in your mind for god um god he's going to love you no matter what hame koi shikayat nahi allah taala se lag shukr hai jo bhi hai jis hal mein hai khush hai allah ka shukr hai the fact that you can be religious that you can be a christian and you can still accept everybody for who they are how did huck find the courage to look in the mirror and kiss it building up my own community helps me turn around and love myself knowing that i didn't have to split my life like that anymore that i could continue with a prof- professional um job was definitely one of my favorite points in life here these people trans people have to just work so hard for the very yeah. basic to be documented as a human leave alone having the voting rights the identity cards so they are deprived of education hardly get jobs hum to yahi chahte hain hame bhi kuch aisa ko mil jaye hum ye kaam bhi chhod de jis kaam mein hain 
तो फिर भी खुश है नहीं तो फिर भी खुश है अपने हाल में है अपना रोटी तो मिल रही है ना जो भी मैं कमाती हूँ बाजी मैं अल्लाह के रास्ते देती हूँ Not everybody is mean. जैसे आप आई हैं ऐसे भाई था एक इतनी बड़ी प्रॉडो में आया बोलते बस साइमा तेरी दुआ चाहे लग गई मेरे को उसने वो मेरा लिया इंटरव्यू तो वो बाहर चला गया उसने बाहर जाके वो किया दिखाया You're gonna have those people in your life that are going to accept you no matter what. अपनी मुट्ठी साफ होना कोई कुछ नहीं कर सकता बाजी घरों में पहले मैं काम करती थी बंगले पे वो बाजी यहीं से मेरे को ले गई There is a community. There are blogs online. There is outreach. There is a lot of powerful people out there that won't hesitate once helping you. Khana bhi banati hu, main acha sa khana banati hu. Almost 60 of them have been killed over the last few years in this part of the world for no rhyme or reason. It's so beautiful that how you want to help the world. People like you are uh, a ray of hope for them, an inspiration, or should we say, transpiration? <laughs> I'm proud of you. That means a lot. they don't call it transgender um in the medical world in California and in Arizona um you have to be diagnosed with transgenderism technically diagnosed with a disorder which i don't really fully agree with i don't think it's a disorder but in order for us to get proper medical care that is what the government chooses to call it as long as you are diagnosed with transgenderism your insurance legally has to has to help you through the um transition process in arizona it was a little bit different um they would uh cover my doctor's visits but not my medication or any type of um elective surgery in california they take care of my um doctor's visits they take care of my medication and they take care of um any kind of um surgery that i would choose to do to like your basic rights we do have non-discriminatory um laws that protect us uh like hate crime laws it's illegal to hurt us you can't touch us and that's for all of america that's not just per state now there's an option on your driver's license um application they give us a gender marker that's an x instead of an m or an f which keeps us a lot safer it's still expensive but they've made it a lot easier for us to even change our names so it's just slowly coming around but um it's got it's gotten a lot better in the last few years just the last few years alone in my old profession i was a professional tat- uh sushi chef for 6 years before i started tattooing So I'd probably still be in the restaurant industry. You cook? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still have the same friends. I've had a lot of my friends for many, many years. And they've accepted me throughout the whole thing, whole process. But if I do find a quality person, I will be determined to keep them around for a long time. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> जी तेरे बाजी सदा खुश रहे अल्लाह तेरे नेक नसीब करे मेरे से जीस्ट की बिखरी है धजिया दामन जाने मेरा गरीबा कहा गया गरीबा 